In this video, we are going to see various methods of finding the greatest common divisor, which is the GCD of two integers A and B. The first method is finding the GCD by listing out its factors or the devices. Let us try to find the GCD of the two numbers 24 and 36. So first let us list out all its factors or the devices. We know that the devices of 24 are 1 and 24, 2, 12, 3, 8, 4, 6. The same way for 36 is 136, 218, 312, 4 nines, and 6 sixes. So the common devices are 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, and 12, and the greatest common divisor is 12. So the GCD of 24 and 36 is 12. So we can take the prime factors of this and then take the common factor of those, that will be the GCD of the two numbers, highest common factor. Now let us find the GCD using the prime factorization. So first we need to factorize 24. 24 can be split into two, two twelves. Again, 12 can be divided as two, six, 6 can be written as 2, 3, so the prime factors can be taken. The same way for 36, we can find the prime factors. The prime factors for these two numbers, 24, are 2, 2, 2, 3. 36 will be 2, 2, 3, 3. And the common factors are 2, 2, and 3. So the GCD, the greatest common divisor, will be 12. So this is using the prime factorization using the stream method. We can also find the GCD using repeated divisions. So let us divide 24 and 36 together by 2. So it divides equal uh, without any reminder, 12 and 18. Again, when we divide, we get 6 and 9. When we divide by, uh, by 6 and 9 by 3, we get 2, 3. So the common devices are 2, 2, 3. So the product will be the GCD. Or we can also use the Venn diagram. We can find the factors of two, um, 12 factors of 36 and that intersection will be the common factors of 36 and 12 in that the maximum is 12 and that will be the GCD. We can also find the GCD using Euclidean algorithm. The division algorithm says that if I have two integers a and b, and if a is greater than b, a can be written as a multiple of b plus some remainder. The remainder r1 is such that it is 0 less than or equal to r1 less than b. So if this R1, the remainder is 0, then that B becomes the GCD of AB. So if R1 is 0, the minimum of those two, the smallest number, will be the GCD of the two numbers. So if I have 36 and 12, 36 can be written as 1, times 24 plus 12. Again, that 24 can be written as a product of 2 and 12 plus 0. So that 12 becomes the greatest common divisor of 36 and 12. If I want to find the greatest common divisor for these huge numbers, say 12,378 and 3,054, we use the same technique. So the of, out of these two, 12,378 can be written in terms of 3,054 
as 4 3054s plus a remainder of 162. Again, if we write 3054 in terms of 162, we'll have 18 162s plus a remainder 138. And let us rewrite this 162 and 138 uh, using the division algorithm. So continue the process. The finally, this 18 can be written as a product of 6 with a zero remainder. So that 6 will be the GCD for the two numbers. So by using this type of flow chart, we can use any computer technique to find the GCD of two given numbers. So this video helped us to understand the various methods of finding the GCD just by taking the factors of those or using the prime factors, the common factors using the Venn diagram method or just by comparing the two values or by using the Euclidean's division algorithm. Thank you for watching this video and thank you for supporting this type of videos. Thank you.